Do you know what time it is? Time to wake up your lawn. Now that St Paddy's Day's passed, we're going to start end of the lawn renovations today. We've got three lawn renovations to do. And this video is in association with Jobba. But more on that later. Let's go. Aerating their lawn is really important. Think of it, but it's an exchange of gases, an easy way to explain that. Think of your own living room or a room in your house whenever it's full of stinky air. Whenever you open the window, you're letting good air in and you're letting the bad air out. That's what we're doing whenever we're aerating lawns. So for the beginners watching this, all these thousands of little holes in the lawn is all about letting air down into the soil. So we'll have a look at the lawn. And we'll pull these plugs out because it helps remove some fat. Now we're going to get the scar fire out and do some scar fan. That's us just getting packed up. We'll see you at the next job. Garden number two. Before I start on this one, just going to tell you, did you hear that we recently started a new podcast called Roots to Revenue? It's being sponsored by Jobber, who this video is in association with. Jobber have recently introduced a couple of really good new tools for any small business owner out there. The first one is you can send newsletters directly from the app. That means that you can target maybe people that haven't bought anything from you in a while, or alternatively, if you're launching a new service and you want to tell people about it. Now Jason, what else? What else do they have? You've all heard of Google reviews. Now, when you complete a job on Jobber, it will send your customers a link to give you a review. A five star review for someone like us. Now let's get on with this. <laughs> Now Robbie's finished scarifying the lawn, let's have a look at what he was getting out. It's this, thatch. What thatch is, is grass, moss and debris that builds up over time. Now what this does is it creates like a barrier which stops moisture, rain and nutrients getting down through to the roots where it's needed. This is now onto the fertilizing. Then we're going to put down some iron. I'll show you that round the next garden. We're going to have a chat about that. Doing the aeration on lawn number three. I'm going to come behind him and do the scarification. And then we're going to have a chat about how we kill moss in the lawn. Some of you might have noticed I've got a new van on the road. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Agnew's Van Centre, who bought the van off. Really good job, but they put this rhino lining in the bottom of it. Because in the last van, at the base there, it all got really rusted, so it means if we spill any fertilizers or whatever, because fertilizer is really hard on metal, so if we spill any fertilizer or anything in the back of the van, we can just put the hose in and hose it out. Fantastic. Another thing with scarification is it helps the lawn come back nice and thick and strong. Look at all this thatch. It's like shedding your winter coat ready for the spring. You can really see that the amount that we've taken out of this lawn, crazy amount. A lot of lawns at the minute are mud baths because it's so wet. 
And a lot of that comes from having 100% ryegrass lawns. This lawn something suffers from something completely different. However, a few years ago, before we started into this lawn, they had another gardener here and he came and scarified it, but he was too hard on it and he stripped the lawn right off. And he said to the customer, look, it's all right. I'm going to install some elite grass on your lawn. So while rye grass, 100% rye grass is no good, elite grade of grass seed was the finer grasses. But you can see the amount of thatch that this creates just get specific problems. So if you have a rye grass lawn, chances are at the minute, it looks like absolutely nothing. And if you have 100% fescue lawn or something like this then you're going to have a different problem so how do you combat that you want to have at least two different types of grass in your seed as jason's putting on the fertilizer we've still one more step to do we're going to put on some iron and some seaweed now iron does two really important things it feeds the grass and it, it helps the grass create chlorophyll if you think back to your gcse days chlorophyll is the pigment that helps keep grass or makes grass green but it also has a, another really important thing if you have moss in your lawn it helps kill the moss how it does that it doesn't actually kill it it dehydrates it so whenever we scarify we're opening the surface of the lawn up and then we're putting the, the iron on the top and it soaks right down to the bottom if you put it on beforehand like most people do then what happens is you're only burning the top don't forget about the seaweed it's like a superfood for your soil, full of vitamins and nutrients.